Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool GTE automatic electric rotary dial payphone and it's a single slot and Dustin sent this in. He has an electrical company and basically this is for a customer of his. And so what we're going to be doing to this telephone is a conversion. And we want to show you the backboard here. Basically what's going on here is someone has already taken everything out of the telephone basically. Uh, there is no cash box, but they're really not going to be putting any money in it because of the fact that they just want to use the telephone, and we're going to have a T key. The locks have been removed, and they're not concerned with any of the keys, but we will have a T key for them. So what we want to do is show you the front panel, and we'll go ahead and do that now. Now we've talked with... Dustin and he is not concerned with any of the cards that would normally go in the front panel but since this is the initial checkout we definitely want to look over the telephone we're going to be troubleshooting everything and we want to go through the rotary the rotary is very sluggish and it's not returning very well so we're going to be going through the rotary oiling cleaning adjusting that we also want to go through the hook switch. That's an issue that we want to look at. And we want to show you the inside of this telephone. Now that you can see the back of the front panel, we want to go through all the connections and check everything. We're going to rewire this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We're going to be installing a bell and a bell circuit we also have to remove the housing because we want to go into the rotary and repair that issue. We're going to be installing a modular port so that their customer can walk up to this telephone when they install it and plug in any length, any color line cord they choose. It'll make for a clean, simple plug and play connection. We want to go through the transmit and the receive. We want to make sure that that's working. And whatever we need to do in the conversion, we'll go ahead and start on that issue. So we want to take a short break because we want to get a start on this telephone. We'll come back as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this GTE single slot rotary payphone. And if you've never seen one of these units apart, I want to show you the rotary. We have removed the rotary from the housing because we have to work on that, and that has to be oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. And that kind of gives you a look at that. We also want to show the housing. Now we had a wiring block here. It's not needed because that's what would have connected up to the base or the back of the unit. And that would have went over to the coin validator and some of the other electronics to this telephone. So that was removed. And here's your housing with your hook switch. So that kind of gives you a look at what that uh, looks like all apart. Now what we want to do is also show you the receiver. Now we're going to go in and check the transmit, but we know the receiver is bad. We know that there's a big crack around the receiver capsule cap. And so probably what's happened is somebody either tried to get into the receiver capsule and remove it and they broke the cap or it was slammed down and they broke the receiver capsule inside and the cap. So we're probably going to have to replace this cap but they glue the caps on these handsets 
for pay phones and so they're very hard to remove and I assume that this one will probably break anyway when we're trying to remove it so we want to go ahead and get that taken care of also and we'll be working towards that repair so we'll go ahead and take a short break we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this GTE automatic electric single slot payphone we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished with the repair and conversion of this payphone and we're gonna run through a little bit about what went on we had to replace the handset the transmitter and the receiver were both bad there were no way to get the caps off without tearing the whole handset up so we had to replace it and so now we replaced the transmitter and the receiver we also went through the rotary that was oiled cleaned and adjusted now the back housing of the rotary is where everything is located your modular port so that uh, Dustin's customer can simply hang this telephone and install it and then bring in any line cord any length any color and plug right into the port makes for a clean simple plug-and-play connection we also installed the bell and bell circuit there on that uh, housing and we rewired this telephone the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work and we're going to go ahead and give you a still picture of that okay now what we want to do is we want to show you the receiver pickup that's so you can have audio out of the handset when we show you the final checkout and we want to go ahead and ring this unit so we'll go ahead and do that with the analyzer we'll let that go a few times since this telephone didn't have a bell I'll let it go one more time We'll give you some dial tone. We want to dial our numbers out. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I want to end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hello, hello. So now that we know that this telephone has receive transmit it's dialing out it's ringing in on a ring cycle we can go ahead and push our button on this switch box that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and we'll call a time and temp number so we'll go ahead and push that button now and we'll give you some dial tone Okay, we can turn the amplifier off. We'll hang our unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Dustin so he can get it back to his customers. I'm sure they're going to enjoy this telephone very much.
This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.